So, so were you, um, I guess, nervous of, at all about like what TV or the, the bigger screen might do to like the original you know, work? The interesting thing for me is. Uh, I have been afraid uh -huh. of anything that's going to be positive for me, my family, or the people around me. Right. You know, um, being a showrunner of, of a TV show mm -hmm. like this is really important to me because of all the people that I'm putting to work. Right, right, right. It's you know, true. I mean, yeah, we got the cameraman, sound people, we got all these right, people right. that are really, really great folks. And, you know, every day that we can be in production means that they're going to be taken care of and their families will have to be and stuff like that. And that's what's really right. the most important thing. Like I said, my old man told me, I thought you've been there. The most important thing to a business person, you know, I consider myself is that no matter what, you know, I write these great books and these people that you know, can take care of their families. It's really important. And, and how, how hands-on were you? Like, were you like... Uh, Cut tape, and you didn't say it like this, or you got to say that Dun I mean, Duncan told. Obviously, you're gonna have a chance. Sure. To, uh, to see what what I'm gonna do in a little bit, but I'm very involved. I mean, you know, right. I, mm -hmm. I wrote every just about every line. Being a director, um, Trey Haley, or have a almost like a one mind, two bodies. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, going yeah. On. And um, you know, I definitely get involved in different way things are. He's trying to make my vision come true. Right. So we've, we've got this great working relationship. So there's a few times where I'll say, hey, look, I want this like this. But right. you know, I, I try not to be heavy handed. You know, people that are unsuccessful are usually the people that think that they're the smartest guy in the world. <laughs> you know, it's not about me being the smartest guy. Right. I've hired phenomenal people to uh -huh. work. And they, I gotta let each one of them do their job. You know, I put these words here. The actors are gonna do what they're gonna do. And you know, yeah, they, are there times when I want to fine tune things? Of course there is. Right. But at the same time, it's important that I let people understand and know that their job right. is important. Got it. You know, I can't do everything. People that micromanage usually don't become as successful as they possibly can. Well, so. Obviously, it's going to draw instant comparisons to Empire. Uh, and so, how would you say the show is different than Empire? And how would you say it's, it may be similar or, or some well, things they might like? I mean, look, I, I get that. Fortunately for me, I wrote Family Business in 2012, way before. Right, Empire right. Okay, out, yes. So, you know, I, <laughs> for the record. I, 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 yeah, I don't even go for that type of connotation. Sure, that, sure, that sure. Thing. But, um,. We're totally different. I mean, you know, Empire skirts on the level that it's a crime family. My show is about a crime family. Right. You know? But more so than even that, it's about a family. Right. You know, it's about a mother, a father, a children, son in law's brother, right. you know, brother in law's. It's, it's, it's about, you know, grandchildren. It's, it's, it's really about a family. And about a family. Now, they, you know, they may have interesting things that happen to them, and there's a lot of drama that happens to them. But you know, when it really comes back to it, I'm pulling on the beautiful part of being a part of a family that I happen to be able to grow up. So excellent, you know. excellent. And do you have any other books you've written that may be candidates for, you know, movies or television well, as well? I know for a fact that um, we're supposed to do a pilot for um, Influence. Okay, so excellent. Uh -huh. So we're really excited about that. Uh -huh. Married Men and Big Girls Do Cry or slated for some time in 2000, right. 2020. So yeah, we're, we're excited about that. And there's a lot of like individual projects that I'm working on. Right. And, 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 and what type of advice do you have for, you know, aspiring uh, book writers or current book writers? You know, we talked about, you know, the, the changes in the I say, industry. I say this to everybody. Um, if, you're a, if you've written a novel, or you want to write a novel or anything like that, the most important part about it is finishing. Right. You know, most people, are, you know, we all know somebody that says, oh, write the book. Right. Most of us don't finish it. Uh -huh. And a book is like a baby. You know, when you finish your book, you, you know, a parent wants to raise their child. Right. Be successful. That's what you want to do with your book. Finish it, and then you can raise it to be successful. Put all that hard work in, go out there. And wow. Wow. Do what needs to be done. But it, it really is it's 
tough. It's tough, right, right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Carl Weber. I, I think we call you a legend in the making, you I know. know that. Well, well, <laughs> Walter uh, Mosley right here. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I said, I think I'll take it one step at a time. I just want to... You the know, the very know. humble Carl Weber. Uh, well, congratulations on your project. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.